Hello friends, thanks for reading along with us today. Let's get started. It was a crisp, clear evening, and Bao couldn't wait. Tonight was one of her favorite nights of the year, Mid-Autumn Festival. It was the night when the moon shone its brightest and biggest, and families came together for a special celebration. Did you know? Her grandma began as they set up a picnic under the stars. That this festival is over 3,000 years old, people in ancient China believed the moon was magical, and they would celebrate the harvest hoping for a bountiful year. They tell stories about the moon goddess Chang Yi, who lives on the moon with her rabbit making elixirs. Whoa, a rabbit on the moon? Bao giggled, imagining a fluffy bunny hopping around. What's it like up there? Grandma chuckled. The legends say it's a peaceful, glowing palace where Chang Yi watches over Earth. Bao's mind buzzed with excitement. She pictured herself flying up to the moon on a giant lantern, meeting Chang Yi and having mooncakes with her. But down here on Earth, the party was just getting started. Everywhere Bao looked, families were lighting paper lanterns turning the park into a sea of glowing colors. There were red, yellow, and even dragon-shaped lanterns swaying in the gentle breeze. Can I light mine now? Bao asked. Holding up her own lantern, decorated with her best drawing of the moon and stars. Go ahead, her dad said, handing her a lighter. Carefully, Bao lit the candle inside her lantern and soon it was floating up into the sky like a tiny star. As the night went on, the fun really kicked in. Across the park, a group of kids were playing a game called Chasing the Moon. They each took turns being the moon, while the others had to chase them in a circle. When Bao's friend Kai was the moon, he pretended to wobble like a giant mooncake, making everyone laugh so hard they could not catch him. In another part of the park, a stage was set up for the lion dance. Two people dressed in a colorful lion costume danced and twirled, the lion's mouth snapping open and closed, making funny faces at the audience. The drummers beat out an exciting rhythm, and the lion leaped high into the air, landing with a big, dramatic stomp. Everyone cheered. Then it was time for Bao's favorite part, mooncakes. Her mom handed her one, a perfect golden pastry with a sweet filling. Bao took a big bite. Mm. Inside was a delicious egg yolk, symbolizing the bright, round moon. As they ate, her dad told her another legend about how mooncakes were once used to send secret messages during a rebellion. Bao thought that was the coolest thing ever. So these aren't just yummy, they're secret agent snacks too? She laughed. Before they knew it, the moon was high above, shining down on the festivities. Families sat together, sharing stories, laughter, and more mooncakes. The lanterns danced in the night, and the sky twinkled as if the stars were joining the celebration. Good night, moon, Bao whispered. As she lay on the picnic blanket, gazing up. It had been an exciting, funny, and magical mid-autumn festival, just like always. Thanks for reading along with us today. We hope you enjoyed the book. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more magical stories. See you tomorrow!